Hey guys, Ronnie here coming at you with a hot tip. Does your render have more fireflies than the night sky? Well, bunker down, cowboy, because I'm going to show you a somewhat talked about but rarely shown method to get rid of those annoying things. All right, so here's our noisy scene. Um, disclaimer, I tried to make this as noisy as possible. So as you can see, there's plenty of ugly little fireflies sticking out all over the place. First order of business, go into image, save as image, and just save it as something you can find later. Then what you're going to do is head down in your pro uh, render properties tab, go to sampling and change your seed to anything else than, than what it is. So it should be zero. We're going to go insane and change it to one. You can change it to literally anything and render that again. I already did so. So what I'm going to do next is drag this up and we're going to bring in a node editor. All right. So we're going to click right here on composite nodes and make sure use nodes is selected. You should have your render layers in your composite right here. So you're going to press shift a search and type an image and you're going to bring back in that original image. Okay. So here's my different seed. So you render it again. You might be wondering why. Well, your fireflies will be in different places than they were before. So you're going to press shift a search mix and then plug this one in with that one and click on darken. And oh my goodness, look at that. So what it does is overlays the dark parts of the images. As you can see, there's still some artifacts. Like I said, I tried to make a really noisy scene. You probably shouldn't have something like that. Uh, what you can do further and what I would have done for real would have been go into light paths, bump up your glossy to like eight or 12 or something and go into sampling. You can like clamp indirect by three or something like that. So you would do that as a render with, with those settings I just gave. I'm not, this tutorial isn't about those. So you can look those up separately what they do, but you'd render that out. If you still had fireflies and you'd render it twice and do the method I just showed. Yeah, that's it. Hope you learned something. Hope you had a good time and see you later. Hey, how about this? I'll come at you with a second hot tip. Um, if you plan on editing this later, what you'll want to do is um, plug this uh, second render in, just this render layers, and render this out. Because if you close this project and reopen it, you'll have your first render, but you won't have the second uh, render layers. So yeah, that way uh, you would render it out again. And so let's say this one's seed zero, you'd call this seed one or whatever. And then you would bring in another image and you would let's say let's say this is the new one you would plug this in instead and you really wouldn't use your render layer anymore so that's what you would do there so that you can open it later so yeah just thought i'd let you know take it easy